Hello everyone, I'm Nate Asher and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD. In the last episode, we made our way to Windfall and found out what the pirates were up to. And it would seem that they were trying to get bombs because there is a, let's see. Because there is a cave on the, hang on, let me think in my head, windfall, oh wait, I'm dumb, it's on the freaking gamepad, I'm not used to you. okay, we'll just go south, here. anyway, as I was saying, there is a cave on the um, back side of Outset, and I guess the pirates think that there's some treasure in there, and so they went there, and it is blocked by a giant like, rock wall, I guess. I don't know, it didn't completely make sense, but it's whatever. You know? But, um, anyway. Petra noticing us, decided to give us a little head start, and holy crap. Anyway, yeah, she gave us a head start and um, said that they won't leave for outset until morning. And lucky for us, this night is unending because there's actually a curse put on the island right now. Where are you talking to? I guess we did. Alright. So yeah, it's not like a terrible sense of urgency because morning is not going to come until we break the curse so there's really nothing to worry about however most of the uh, side quests and other things, to my knowledge, at least, things to do in the game are uh, blocked during this quest, and so even though there's not like a big sense of urgency when it comes to like making your way to outset and progressing with the story, you can't really do a whole lot else, so you may as well just go ahead and do it. Let's see, how many, um, we only have one bottle. I don't remember how we got that bottle, but I know that it actually might be this one. There is an, another bottle in one of these submarines. Oh, I already had the grappling hook. So, I guess this would be something that I don't think is locked. So we might as well stop by and do it while we're here. And how many joy pins? I have 11 joy pins, and I believe we're going to need 20. I used to think that, like, he needed 40 for, like, a total. I know you do need 20 or 21 or something 
for like the first thing that you can do with them, but something made me think in the past that like you had to ultimately collect another 20. I don't know if I got that from the like non HD version, like the GameCube version. And maybe it's just not part of this, but I don't know. Last time I played uh, for the Windmaker HD, I ended up not needing the extra joy pendant, so for now I'm just going to work on um, getting to like 21. Anytime, like, I see any of those, uh, book goblins, and we can get these skull necklaces from these models. And I think, I don't even, I don't remember if, like, it's actually... Or anything in particular, or if it's just, I know you can sell them, maybe it's just the, um, the person that you sell them to, because you can sell them to Beetle, you can sell like anything to Beetle in your, um, what's that called? Just a spoils bag? Yeah, a spoils bag. You can sell anything from your spoils bag to Beetle. But there is another NPC that we can that we can sell them to for more than what Beetle would give us. But I don't remember if it's like actually required. Sorry if I'm like talking, kind of like spaced out and slow, I'm like super tired, just got back from vacation all week so I haven't been recording. I'm still getting back into it, plus I'm doing this in the morning and I haven't had any sleep because I had to drive like 11 hours back went um, all the way to the east coast so kind of far from where I live I am planning on moving there eventually though would like to at least alright so I'm gonna go ahead and make our way to outset gosh this is so slow there was something that I wanted to do, and we could have done it already, but I, I don't know if I forgot about it, or maybe I thought that, like, couldn't do it yet, but I'm pretty sure, like, the uh, swift sail, I don't know why I'm talking about it, like, this game's not, uh, how old is this game? 2000... I don't know. Uh, I don't remember. I think it's... 2011 or something like that? Let's see. Ocarina of Time is... 1995. Uh, my princess was thousand six, I think, and then Skyward uh, Sword was two thousand nine. Princess came out on the Wii. 
GameCube version was like 2004 or something, I want to say. Um, but HD version came out after Garrett Sword, so yeah, I think 2011, probably. Alright, ballpark. Okay, so we need to go that way. I'm, it's not like... I don't think that uh, it makes that much of a difference. As long as you're heading... In the general direction of where the air is pointing. But, just... Just in case, might as well change the direction. And the only reason I'm not skipping uh, through the sailing portion this time is just because, uh, due to the fact that like it's an unending night, it's like part of the story, the atmosphere is different, so it's technically it's not like. This normal travel, you know, it's like part of the quest, so. We didn't really experience like a, a whole lot of um, the things that are different. We only saw like the Octorox that are more abundant now. But, um,. There's usually... I don't remember like everything that changes during just this part of the game, but... Shame we didn't run into anything, but... You know, very slow sail over here. Have you noticed Link? Morning has not broken since we arrived at Great Fish Isle. <clears throat> the land that was so ravaged by monsters is if time itself is frozen. Gosh, I'm gonna have to get back into into doing these voices. Really, Ugh. rusty. All right. Perhaps this is the curse that Valu spoke of. Whatever the reason, if this night does not end. And we need not worry about the pirates overtaking us. In fact, it might not be a bad idea for you to visit your hometown and family again after such a long time away. We can speak with Jaboon after you do. Probably butchered that. Let's see. Or here. I mean, oh, we only have two nights press. Did we already... I'm gonna check. Remember if we've already... Spoken to Orca since we got that letter from him. No, we have not. Ah, Link. You are all right. Why did you not tell me about Errol? That was thoughtless of you. This island has seen hard times ever since you departed. Hmm. I do not know what you have been doing on your journey. But you seem a little more daring these days. That look in your eye is not the one you left here with. Very good. Show me just how much you've improved your sword skills. Um... Normally I'd say not now, but... King of Red Lions... Seems pretty lax about the whole thing. If I must say so, your skills with the sword are still at the level of a page. Very good. Try to hit me 100 times or more before I hit you three times. Oh, what? I don't want to do this right now. Here, I'm gonna let him hit me. I didn't intend to start this. Yeah, he hit me. Hit me again. Hit me with your best shot. Why don't you hit me with your best shot? 
Do I have to like equip the crest? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is like something that I might, I probably will just speed it up. I was gonna say I might just cut it, but it's something we can do later for like not necessarily that important of an item, but oh wait, is this what we have to do? Does that intrigue you, young one? It's still too early to discuss such things with you. But if you happen across ten of them, show them to me. Then I can tell you what they are and what they do. But I will only speak if you get ten of them. Oh, okay. Well then. Alright, what else did we do? Are the pigs grown? They are definitely grown. Yo, what up? Oh, Link, you made it back. Nasty things have been happening here at night ever since you left on that boat. You better head home early today, and don't come out to play until long after the sun has risen tomorrow. Yeah, whatever. Oh, I'm so glad you're safe, Link. We've all been so worried. The boys will be so surprised to hear you return just as soon as they wake up, that is. Alright. Well, I'm not gonna bother speaking to everybody on this island. I don't remember if I did this yet. Kind of. wait. Ah, I did not do it because I forgot that we need a special item to do it. So, there you have it. Alright, Grandmama. They're trying to like express here. I mean, like, she seems like she's just having a bad dream or something. I don't know why we can't just wake her up and be like, hey, look, I'm, I'm back for a visit. Um, oh, here's something that's different. Normally, choose. You know, if you're not upset. But, during this part of the game, they do. wonder if that woman's in here now. I felt like such an idiot last time. Even though, like, I'm, just, I'm pretty sure that she's normally in here. Where the heck is she? Eh, Link, is that you? Link, whoa. You kind of startled me there, buddy. I thought more of those monsters had come to harass me. I tell you, there have been a lot of strange things going on here at night lately. I haven't gotten a good night's sleep in ages because of it, and I love sleep. In fact, I saw something really odd just a little while ago. Of course, this was back before the bridge was destroyed. It was up in the fairy woods near the old dried up fountain. I saw this tall girl who glowed like a fairy, which was odd enough, but then she vanished into that rock. Really? I saw it with my own eyes. Alright, well, I have uh, a few issues with what you just said to me. Uh, first of all, this is the first and only time that, like, night has been, like, Unending, so I don't know how you couldn't have got a good night's sleep in ages. It's 
monsters have only been here tonight, so right, let's see. The other issue I have with it is why were you up here in the Okay, that was totally the wrong way. I couldn't tell because of the freaking tree. Alright. Yeah, I don't know what that guy was doing up here in the woods. I also don't know how he knows what a fairy looks like. He said she glowed like a fairy. So he obviously somehow knows of fairies. So if he knows that fairies exist and knows that they glow and all that jazz, why is he confused about the, what he saw? Fairy Fountain site. This spot marks the remains of an ancient fairy fountain. The legendary hero was said to come here after battle so the fairies could ease his weariness. It was also said that whoever met with the great fairy who lived here was blessed with great fortune, so it came to be known as the Fountain of the Fortune Gods. Okay, see, now, for whatever reason, this guy was up here. I don't know why the, um, the great fairy, what the heck? I don't know why the great fairy left the fountain, because we have to, like, like, we only free her by doing this. So, you can't even leave until we did this just now. And I don't even know why she would have a reason to leave. But, if for some reason she left the fountain and then went back into the rock, which I don't know why she couldn't just get rid of the rock, because great fairies can do all that magic stuff. But like, even if we ignore all that, it literally says on the sign that it's a that's where the great fairy lives and it's part of the freaking name so someone had to put that sign there I don't know how that sign exists and he didn't know that a great fairy was there and I don't know how he didn't read it even if he didn't know so uh, I know I'm reading way too much into it but I mean come on Part of the fun of Zelda. Anyway. Young Waker of the Winds, allow me to aid in your quest. Berries in this game are so freaky. I can't make another one who thinks that. Then, like, the mother of the fairies or whatever is like a little girl. The fairies in this fountain shall ease your weariness when you grow fatigued from your battles. Come here to be refreshed. Alright. Wait a minute. I think Grandma would benefit from one of these fairies. Not sure why. She's clearly just having a nightmare and she's lonely. Somehow this fairy is supposed to help with that? I don't know. Once again, I know I'm reading way too much into it, but... Part of the reason I like Zelda is that, like, it's so... It's not just slopped together like a lot of games. Like, there's 
a lot of thought put into like the references and all that kind of stuff and there's just so many things about the Wind Waker that I mean like I'm aware that the original release of the Wind Waker on the GameCube, not the HD version, but the original one so they had to cut content in at least like one dungeon, which was the third dungeon. Um in order to meet like release day. I don't know why they didn't just push it back because Nintendo pushes back I mean they push back several Zelda uh, re title releases so I don't know. I don't know why they couldn't have just done that. I mean I, I think that um the Wind Waker was the, uh, uh, what do they call it? I can't remember the name, like the, the game that is advertised or like the first game like, I think it's like the flagship title or whatever for the GameCube maybe they wanted to have the GameCube by Christmas or something I don't know I really should like look into history of all this stuff Only because Zelda nerd, but I don't know. Like, I don't know. anyway, I guess what I'm trying to say is like, like it it bothers me how like kind of. thrown together, the Wind Waker feels in some areas, but, and I like, understand why, even though I don't completely agree with it, but like, they still could have fixed all this in the HD version, they fixed a lot of stuff, I mean, like, okay, it might have like, changed the game a little bit, but, they could have added it as like a expansion or something to help sell the HD version, which would also boost Wii U sales. But Grandma is always happy to see your bright, shiny face. Link, my dear sweet Link, you're safe. That's wonderful. It's just wonderful. Did you do this? Did you heal me? There was nothing wrong with you. Oh, you're such a sweet child. Oh, that's right. You and your sister Errol are trying so hard to be strong and I've just been sitting here moaning and worrying. Yes, that's exactly what you were doing. You weren't sick. I don't... I'm your grandmother. I'm the one who should be taking care of you. I'm so sorry, Link. I haven't even considered what you must be going through. I'm a terrible grandma. Link, this is all I have to give you right now. You can keep it in your empty bottle. Thanks for the soup. You had such a powerful soup don't know why you needed a fairy but you and your sister love this soup don't you if you run out i can make it for you anytime you like grandma's going to try to be strong so you try to be strong too don't do anything reckless all right why the heck are you agreeing to that link like literally everything you have to do is reckless oh no Anyway, that's going to do it for this episode, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. And in the next video, we will be going ahead. Well, we're, we're going to check the mail, I guess, next time. But uh, 
Now that we've talked to Grandma, we've got a bigger wallet, we're going to go back to the King of Red Lions, where he is patiently waiting over there, and we're going to sail around back and see if we can't get in that secret cave. So, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.